With Melee Hunters returning in Legion as a viable spec to play, I thought it'd be fun to take a look at Melee Hunters from before they were completely removed from the game in Mist of Pandaria. To start off, no, Melee Hunters were never a viable playstyle for Hunters. They may have had a talent tree dedicated to melee skills at one point, and an aspect that increased their melee damage, but it was always worse than bad. Until Cataclysm, Hunters didn't get a pet until level 10 and until miss, they couldn't shoot while in melee range. So nearly all hunters had to do some form of melee combat until they got their pet. And even then, most pets were terrible at keeping aggro in the earlier days of WoW, and you'd be using your melee skills all the way until max level. Even if you were a skilled hunter and knew how to stutter step shoot, that is, running while waiting for your auto shot to reset, and standing still only long enough for the shot to go off before strafing again, you'd still have to resort to melee combat at some point in the leveling process, if you ever had more than one add, or accidentally pulled extra mobs. Because stutter stepping required a lot of planning before the pull, and it was sometimes easier to just pull it with a few shots and finish the mob off in melee rather than stutter step kill every single mob you encountered. And I can't make a video about melee hunters without mentioning the dead zone. Until the tail end of the Burning Crusade, hunters could only shoot targets further than 8 yards away and the melee strike zone was 5 yards and closer. What this meant was that for those 3 yards in between the melee strike zone and the range starting point, hunters could do no damage. So in PvP, casters who were skilled enough to take advantage of the dead zone could nearly neutralize a hunter's damage completely, while still attacking them with Imputiny. In vanilla WoW, hunters had 6 melee skills, Raptor Strike, and on next attack ability, which would give your next auto attack bonus damage, Mongoose Bite, an instant ability that could only be used after dodging an attack, but did very little damage, Counter Attack, an ability that could only be used after parrying an attack, which also rooted the target for 5 seconds, Wing Clip, a slow, Lacerate, a dot, and Disengage, a really shitty threat reduction ability that worked nothing like it does today. First up, Let's talk about Raptor Strike. Raptor Strike worked pretty much the same way from its inception all the way until it was removed and missed. In its first form, it had a 6 second cooldown and would basically give your next basic attack bonus damage. Skills like this don't really exist anymore in game, but were pretty common back then for melee abilities, like the Warrior's Heroic Strike, which worked pretty much exactly the same way. And Raptor Strike worked exactly the same with the exact same cooldown all the way until Cataclysm when it was changed into an instant attack instead of an auto attack boost, but with the same 6 second cooldown. It also had a neat glyph at the time where you would take 20% less damage after using Raptor Strike for 5 seconds, which seems like it would be neat to use, only hunters still had the minimum range in Kata, so it wasn't worth it to get into melee range to use it. Mongoose Bite was an interesting ability in that it was pretty much useless. It had a 5 second cooldown and could only be used after dodging an attack. Granted, hunters did have pretty good dodge. Back then, agility still gave hunters extra dodge. Plus, Aspect of the Monkey gave them something like 8% extra dodge. And Deterrence, at the time, gave you 25% extra boost to dodge and parry for 10 seconds. So you could proc the ability pretty easily if you stance dance or pop Deterrence. Only, its damage was pretty bad. At launch, they had to buff the ability's damage a bit to make it not useless, but it still did low damage. Only not as low damage. On top of the low damage and weird requirement to use, it had a 5 second cooldown. You could only use it 2 times max during a deterrence if you really wanted to use it off cooldown, which is just weird thinking back on it. It already had a tough activation requirement and did like no damage. Why give it such a long cooldown on top of it? Blizzard just really didn't like people spamming abilities back then, I guess. In Wrath of the Lich King, they removed the dodge requirement from the ability, and it no longer hit like a wet noodle. Plus, there was a pretty easy to get talent in the survival tree that gave it an extra 20% crit chance on top of Hunter's already pretty high crit. So if you happened to be in melee range and needed to do damage, Mongoose Bite was actually your go-to ability, since Raptor Strike required a melee swing and had a delay when it did its damage and Mongoose Bite was instant. Not that you really wanted to go out of your way to use it, but it was a damage option. The ability was removed in Cataclysm, and they just made Raptor Strike do its damage instantly to take the place of Mongoose Bite's instant damage go-to melee ability, until that was removed in Miss. 
I should also mention, around the time Blizzard made Mongoose Bite useful in Wrath, they also buffed the aspect called Aspect of the Beast, to give you and your pet 10% more melee attack power. Melee hunters were still not viable at all in Wrath, and only had a handful of talent that increased their potency, so it was all mainly just fluff. Next up, we've got Wing Clip, the hunter's most useful melee ability. You see, for the longest time, the hunter's only range slow was Concussive Shot, which had a way longer cooldown than its duration. So hunters couldn't keep people permanently slow to kite them all day. Wing Clip, however, had no cooldown, and slowed for longer than Concussive Shot. So if a melee DPS got into range of a hunter, they could just use Wing Clip and run away. But hunters had a talent in vanilla and other expansions, which gave Wing Clip a 20% chance to root the target for 5 seconds, in addition to the slow. So some hunters would actually just spam Wing Clip until they got a root proc, and then run away since it was actually a pretty good root. And until Wrath of the Lich King, Wing Clip actually did a little bit of damage as well. If a hunter needed to level up a skill, a new melee weapon, they could just go out to a low level zone and spam rank 1 wing clip to get more attacks in to level up the weapon skill quicker. Out of all the hunter melee abilities, wing clip was without a doubt the most useful, and I was a little sad to see it go when it was removed. Not that it was really needed anymore with the changes to concussive shot giving it a longer duration than its cooldown, but it was a pretty iconic ability. Counter attack was another interesting ability. It was a skill you could take in the survival tree in vanilla, and pretty much stayed that way all the way until Mist when it was removed. It was a really weird ability that no one ever took, but it did have a good effect. When you used it, it would root the target for 5 seconds, and its damage could not be avoided. But in order to use it, you had to parry an attack. If it wasn't for the tough requirement, it would have been so much more useful. You could force parries with deterrence, since pretty much every version of deterrence that was around when this skill was increased parry by some amount. But outside of deterrence, you wouldn't be able to use it much, since hunters didn't really have high parry like they did dodge. It also had a 5 second cooldown like Mongoose Bite. So back in the day, if you popped deterrence, you could spam the crap out of Mongoose Bite and counter attack. Once every 5 seconds. That 5 second cooldown for its tough casting requirement just made it so useless. The effect was nice. The damage was so-so, but it was harder to use than the original Mongoose Bite during its entire lifespan as an ability. Now, the next ability is famous for being useless. Noticing a pattern here? So many of the hunter melee abilities were just bad, but this one took the cake. Lacerate was the last talent in the survival tree, and at max rank, it did 103 damage over 21 seconds. The hunter's other dot, Serpent Sting, did 140 damage over 15 seconds at rank 4, which could be trained at level 45. The damage Lacerate did, did not scale. It was the hunter's worst talent, even considered the worst talent in the game, and absolutely the worst last point talent ever. It was removed in vanilla patch 1.7 and replaced with Wavering String. Still not a pretty good last point talent, but it was at least a useful CC. And finally, we've got Disengage. Believe it or not, Disengage was a melee ability with a really shitty effect in vanilla. It reduced your threat, and later on in the expansion, it would make it so your current target would attack something else. Only, you had to be in melee range to use the threat reduction, and it wasn't really worth it to run into range to use the effect, when hunters already had Fang Death, one of the best, if not the best, threat reduction ability in the game, which could be used at range. The spell wasn't turned into the cool leap backwards ability we have today until Wrath, and couldn't be used out of combat until Miss. And that's pretty much it for the history of melee hunters. I know I probably missed a few things here or there, but I covered pretty much all of the basics. Hunters had melee abilities in the past, and they were never enough to allow a full melee hunter playstyle, and the support melee hunters did get was mostly fluff. In Legion, survival hunters will become the melee hunter spec, which seems pretty exciting. I still remember survival as the explosion shot spec. Back in Wrath, survival hunters did almost as much damage as fire mages. <laughs> well, not really, but more than 60% of your damage came from explosive shot, which was pure fire damage. You know, when I first started doing videos, I used to pronounce melee as melee, since that's how it's spelled, and I never really heard anyone pronounce it other ways or never noticed if they did. But thanks to pronouncing it the wrong way, I got my very first internet death threats. 
people really do not like it when you mispronounce words in YouTube videos.